I've done seven tour lectures so far and with an average audience size of about 2,500 and they're going great. They're unbelievably positive. Everybody, almost everybody dresses up, which I think is really cool. Really? When I went out on tour in 2018, before I went out, I thought I wanted to do this like 100% right. So I went out and bought some expensive suits. And I spent way more money than I ever thought I'd spend on clothes. And I really felt quite bad about it. You know, I thought maybe it was an extravagance, but I thought, no way, man, I'm gonna see if I can nail this dead on. And I'm gonna be speaking to, you know, 100,000 people. I'm gonna look as sharp as I possibly can. And uh, one of the consequences of that has been that Young men in particular come to the lecture tour dressed up in suits, three-piece suits. They or the couples come and they're dressed up like they're coming to a wedding. So that's really something. And uh, why do you think that is? You know, our whole culture pushes the idea that teenage life, or even childhood for that matter, but teenage life is some sort of pinnacle. And then everybody dresses down, especially men. They look like overgrown ten-year-olds, and there's something extremely demeaning about that. And so, to provide people with the opportunity to dress up in a classic manner and to look like adults to present themselves in that manner there's something very attractive about that because we haven't done that in our culture that's been downplayed in importance or certainly since the 1960s who's yeah. to blame for that because you recall anytime you would fly in an airplane if you see old school pictures the people would dress in three piece suits to go on an airplane this is in the 60s i assume and then now you see someone like mark zuckerberg wear a t-shirt to give a speech in front of a ted talk or something like that so well who's some to blame of it for this some down? of it's just fashion you know i mean fashion moves around and then it usually drifts from the top down and so when formality becomes the norm it, but that drifts down to say to the working class then the upper class thinks well we can't do that because that would you know associate us with the unfashionable people and then they dress down and so then that drifts down the hierarchy and so there's some of it, some of it's just fashion but a lot of it too is this idea that reflexive rebellious attitude that anything that violates traditional norms or even anything that's associated with patriarchal oppression and adulthood is to be eliminated in favor of what's hypothetically a more free individuality but it's not because everybody looks the same i was in washington four or five years ago maybe longer than that and one of the things that really struck me all these people wandering around these great monuments is all the men looked like overgrown 10 year olds they, they looked exactly like their kids except they were bigger they looked like they'd been inflated mm. with a bicycle pump and i thought this is weird that adults are dressing like children and not good when you hear the argument being made, it's the following argument. The argument is, look, you only have so much energy to make so many decisions throughout your day. Do you want to be in front of the closet in the morning, picking and choosing what suit I'm going to wear to tie with what shirt and what tie? You know what? I'd much rather not consume my energy thinking about what outfit to put together. It's a lot easier to just have a white shirt, jeans, regular tennis shoes, and go to work and let me make the bigger decisions while I'm running the company. I've never felt bad not wearing a suit. Every time I've had a suit on, I felt better than just walking over with a t-shirt on. Even though the t-shirt is a lot easier to do. You know, you're, it's a lot easier, even when you were in the military. It felt good having your greens on, you know, having your BDU on. There was something very attractive about having a suit on. Not for the audience, just even for yourself. Mm -hmm. You felt good having a uniform on. I don't know. Yeah, well, I talked to my father about this years ago because he always wore a suit. He was a teacher, and I asked him why one day, and he said because it was his way of showing respect for the students. I mean, I'm not saying that everyone who doesn't dress in the suit is being disrespectful, but there's something about outfitting yourself for the task at hand. And there's also something about attempting to put some effort into putting your best foot forward. And I don't really buy the it takes more time in the morning argument. It takes a bit more time, but before I went on this tour, I went through all my clothing and I tossed out everything that didn't fit, and which included a number of suits that were old. And I had to organize them, and that took about a day to get my closet in order. And it was actually a pleasure in some sense. 